everyone. Welcome back to the city of Norland here in City Skylines. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, so last episode we built the, at least started to build, the Norland Culinary Institute, which is actually just a trade school um, that has been repurposed with some of the names. Uh, you know, we've got the hospitality building here, um, Culinary History Museum, NCI Study Hall. Um, over here, we've got a little bit of a community, you know, produce and vegetable sale sort of thing, community garden. Um, we've got the Organic Gardening Club and the Recipe Development Club, uh, a little bit of a sitting area for these guys over here. And of course, the big boy building is the Culinary and Baking Academy. So um, I had a ton of fun building this. Uh, kind of brought me back to my college days and just thinking about all the different buildings that we had to go to and just all the, you know, friends and things like that that I met uh, while there. But um, this is going to be a slow build. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a as the city grows type of deal. But I do think we are going to hang around the university just for a little bit longer. Um, but I'm actually looking at some residential. As you can see, the demand is pretty high. And I think we can have some fun with maybe some almost like college living sort of area. And I'm thinking that this section right here, we could take a chunk of it and make it a college apartments type deal. Um, I have been playing around with a few ideas and I think uh, you'll, you'll enjoy them. But uh, without further ado, let's uh, get this build going. All right. All right, so I think we are going to use the tree line road, and we're going to bring this up to about here because I want to get this road connected as well. And I think maybe with this one, we'll stick with the grass line road. Bring him all the way up to there. We just bring him across a little bit. Bring the tree line into there, and then this can continue down this way for potentially some more. Um, oh, am I using the bike one by accident? Whoops. Let's upgrade this. There we go. And then we're going to use the one way with the grass. And let's turn this stuff back on. Again, I think I'm going to delete this. Just so we get these blue markers in the right spot. Distance of 800, I like that. 800. And then the statue that I want to sit at the top of this road is actually doesn't really oh you know what we could use instead is the statue of wealth yes so why don't we use that I like that we could maybe pretend that this person was possibly a founder of the school and um, has a little bit of a commemoratory statue of themselves. And I think we're going to box this in with a little bit of path. There we go. I like that. And I wonder maybe... At first this was tree rose, was it not? Did I accidentally change this? Who knows, right? But we'll do that. And I think I want to already know I want to change these. I I'm a big fan of the um, cotton wood. What do we think of that? Or maybe something not as bushly, possibly. Yeah, I think I like that. That's nice. That's fancy. Um, so in here, just want to get some a 
Clean this down. Some connections in. And again. And then I kind of had a thought that we could do these kind of squares and each square could have a little bit of a plaza but then also I would like to throw a district on this area oops hopefully I didn't mess up that district because I want to use the self-sufficient buildings I think they have a very modern looking high density and if we're careful with the assets that we choose um, we can really get some nice ones in here so for now I think I'm gonna keep the game we'll let the game run possibly fast just to see what pops in. And then I wonder if we can get some sort of park in here as well. Yes, we can. So just like our campus, we can probably sort of start the entrance to this area just like the campuses with some parks so yes these guys do need some water but see what I'm saying it just has a nice modern look to it and we can pretend that these are some campus living type deals and again we can what was this? We can duplicate this. So 500. Could even come off of this and just go to angle. Leave just enough space for... Oh, this is not... There we go. Why don't we use this guy as our guide? that so do have a little bit of a jank but that's okay then why don't we uh, I'm gonna just water all this up and I will be right back all right so we're all watered up but I did call a little bit of a mulligan as city planner would say and I wanted these parks to be across from each other as almost like some kind of courtyard for all these different um, living quarters here so I think I like the way that looks and I just brought this road down all the way um, and I'm thinking possibly another uh, plaza as well or maybe we could even get in some sporting if I could click on the right thing here we could even get like a, a, a hoop a basketball court or even a double of those like that and then a little bit more of these just sort of select zoning like that and we can bring we can speed this up so we can see what it'll look like and again we can bring some path down the center here I think we can bring this all the way to the front, which I like. It sort of just gates off this college area. So I'm a big fan of this here.
just sort of takes care of some of the residential demand, but also gives these guys um, as if it's some sort of student living. And I think, you know, I'm going to do two is um, I'm going to slow this down just a little bit. And I'm also going to add the policy on um, about the, yeah, the educational boost. So I, this area is still technically a residential area, but I think if we give this, we could possibly see a few more of these guys actually use the university. And we can rename this as well. Okay, so we just named that the NCI Commons. And I think I'd like to duplicate this on this other side as well. I think that would be a good shout to do that. Um, let's also look at healthcare. Yeah, they've got one down the street there. What else can we give these? Oh, maybe like a sports hall and gymnasium. I think that'd be a good one for these guys. Yep, I like that a lot. So we could probably duplicate this. So how far does this road go out? 1550. So let's turn all this stuff on. And let's go out 1550. So that's to here. Yes. And then the first segment is 550. Actually, we probably can use our guidelines for this. There we go. So, and let's just do... Take these trees out, just for now. And I think I'm just going to duplicate this on the other side. So we can do a uh, park as well. I had them kind of facing in. And we can do maybe on this side though, we give them a couple tennis courts. Like that. I like that. These guys some walking access. Want to get it down the center. And again, we can just do the high density over here as well. We can be sort of selective with our asset choosing. Some of these are kind of funky. setups with the spacing of everything and what can we give these guys on this side so we're not maybe a community pool yep I like that oh and I gotta make sure that this district is across here as well There we go. So I'm not sure if any of these guys are going to be not the right type. It looks like they are going to be the wrong type. These guys should be okay. Yeah. So I really like that. We could even, if we wanted to... So to bring this road out to about here. And get a little bit more residential in over here as well. We 
like that. There we go. Again, make sure these are all covered. These guys need some water. There we go. So what do we think of this? I really, I, I like it. We can also leave some of these spaces here for just some green space. We could also throw down some more of the actual university assets, like this book club could go here. Or even facing the road. Throw another book club there. And why don't we have some fun with this one? This one is the Gordon Ramsay Fan Club. So there we go. Do a little bit of decorating around this as well, which we will do in a little bit of a detailing time lapse type scenario. Give these guys some paths to go across as well. Um, a little bit of decorating over here with some pathing. Probably fill in some more of this high density as well. Again, right here. And right here, we can have one. So we could put some trees in between here, um, just so you guys can see. We could take some of the content creators and we could even use some of the high grass as well. You know, maybe it's just tough to get in there. Something just to fill it in with some high grass. So I was just sitting here sort of looking at this area wondering, you know, what what is it missing? I feel like it's missing something. And I just got this idea that I want to try out and I think I'm going to rip up this road and call um, my second I believe it's my second mulligan of the day here as a city planner would say and um, I think what I want to do is connect these roads up and you know what I want to sit at the front of this is the library um, I think it's really underutilized it's a great, you know, s schoolish administration looking building. Um, we, if we want to take a quick flyover, we do have it. Another one here in the town center has that very, you know, um, office building for a small town look. But I think it sitting right here not only gives these guys a little bit of an education boost, but just gives us that administration we're looking, and I still think I'm going to keep the statue behind it. Um, I think it's a nice detailing prop, and I think what I'm going to do is I am going to give this some paths. To go on either side here. Maybe we can just start out with that and then just go to the angle so it has a little bit of pathing on either side and I think these roads are the roads that are going to go up like that and then I think we can do a little bit of if we give this the specialization of leisure, we can get a little bit of that. There's some like clubs and things like that uh, that pop up when you use this. So I know the it's pretty shattered over here. But I think we can still make it work. All right, so this is what I was kind of looking for. 
we got a diner here and we've got something else growing in here and just a little cafe another diner over here we've got a few gyms another little restaurant and a nice little office building that we're going to keep at that level that is pretty ugly so we're going to get rid of that and let that regrow in here but we can do some decorating over here probably add some more trees maybe a few of the live oaks just to hash out some of this green space but um, I really like how this area turned out actually and I do want to leave a little bit of I know it seems like a lot of green space everywhere but I do want to kind of want to leave that just because I do want to sneak in a few of the other university assets in over here as well once they unlock so this will be quite the sprawling campus but i think at this point i am going to head into a detailing time lapse and just detail this all up and see what we can come up with all right Just a little bit of a detailing review here. Um, I added a little bit, I used one of the cafes from the city park here, a little bit of the tilage behind it with some uh, benches, 
just a few flower beds, flower beds with the farm fence as well. I around the Gordon Ramsay fan club, I had a little bit of tiling to give it sort of this, you know, nice path going around it with a little more of the farm fence and just some generic pathing. I also added these little bit of green spaces here just for people to walk through and chill out. This one's a little more quiet where this side has a little more going on. Some food trucks and newspaper stands and things like that. A few benches in there for the students to just sort of chill um, if they don't want to be in the busy plaza. I also add a little bit more to our grand scheme of things here. I box this off and add a little bit more on this side and kind of mirrored it on this side as well. So I'm really liking how this turned out. Um, it feels like almost like a little bit of its own community here with the plazas and just a really nice area to live. You can imagine, you know, students pay a lot to go to the college. So be living here a little more freedom than in the dorms sort of thing but still close enough to the university where it's not a big deal to live in your own apartment sort of thing but I really like how this turned out I hope you did as well um, as always likes comments shares help the channel we're get, getting ever closer to that hundred mark for subscribers and I appreciate all of you that have decided to hit that button and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I had fun building it and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day and until next time have a great one